I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Grand's Mount here, and today we've got the new Ultimate Master set and MVP sets in the game. So I wanted to walk you guys through all the sets and uh, show you maybe some solos, some other things you guys can do. Um, we're going to start off with this 99 overall cornerback. Um, Deion Sanders. He's got pick six chem and return man chem. Now, both those are brand new. Basically, they're both the same, very similar at least. They give you unlimited acceleration until you are touched. So, um, if Deion Sanders gets an interception, he will have unlimited stamina until someone touches him. And same thing for kickoff. It, it only works after an interception or on kickoffs with this player, uh, but is a it's an all right cam, I guess. I, I don't think it's spectacular. I don't think it's anything super crazy, but I do think it's a, a pretty cool cam. I wish he had other chemistries as well. He has the primetime cam, but uh, that really only works if you have the offensive wide receiver, um, Deion Sanders, as well. So, for this set, you're going to need to do midseason master, which I don't have done. Um, you need an, a master ultimate team collectible. I think that's from Mutt Master, I believe. Um, and then you need a team MVP master. So basically you have to do all the team MVPs. Um, you need to do the new journey that came out today. And you need to do the overall challenge, which you need a 98 overall to do. And then you also need a lot, a lot of elite badges. I believe it's 30 elite badges, 25 elite badges, um, something like that. So definitely a lot of coin to get this guy. A lot of grinding solo wise and, and playing a lot of games in order to do this so it's it's gonna take a long time for some people to do it some people might be able to get it done today or tomorrow um, and other people are gonna get it done the day before Madden 18 comes out like it's gonna take a while um, and then we have the team MVPs here a lot of new players were added here is the MVP master Aaron Donald 98 overall um, basically to get him you have to do all of the other um, MVP for each team. There is one for each team and one for uh, free agents. So you have to do every single one of them. I believe they're all exactly the same. You need 30 gold, 30 silver players for that team, and then five elite badges. So I'm just going to scroll through these players. You guys can take a look at them. Um, I've looked at the stats. I like the Brandon Marshall one, but a lot of these cards really don't stand out too much in my opinion. Um, Dak Prescott got a card, which is crazy because he already has a 97 overall. He got a 95. Uh, Jordan Matthews card looks all right. I think the best one, um, in my opinion, is the Baltimore Ravens. They got Mike Wallace, uh, 95 speed. I like this Leonard Williams as well. Um, Mike Wallace has 95 speed, so that's probably one of the best cards. A lot of offensive linemen, a lot of defensive linemen. A few wide receivers and cornerbacks. Here's that Mike Wallace. It looks pretty nice. I like the card art, though. Um, so you don't have a lot of options. And it, they're kind of they're kind of more on the expensive side to do them because you need those five elite badges um, as well as the 30 gold and 30 silver players. So, um, for example, this, this free agent, CJ Spiller, this is honestly one of the cheaper ones. This is probably one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, I actually have enough players to do it. Don't know if it's worth it or not. And then the silver players cost at least like 1,000 coins a piece. So basically, if you were to buy all the players outright, it's going to take about 30k in just silver players. Probably 90k plus in gold players to do. And then you have all these elite badges you have to buy. This is a very expensive uh, promo. I don't know if you can call it really a promo. The MVP promo. Yeah, I guess you can. It's very expensive. And especially if you're trying to do them all to uh, to do the the, mid, the final Mutt Master or just to, to try to get this Aaron Donald. Like, it's a very expensive thing to do. So definitely keep that in mind when you're doing this. Um, definitely not a lot of coins to be made here. There is a way to make coins that I'm going to make a separate video on to help you guys out. Um, but that definitely wouldn't, don't think about it too much for this. Um, and then uh, the solo challenge we got. So we got the overall challenge, which I've started. Um, I don't know why I started. I just was grinding solos. So I started them. 
um, you need 94, 96, 98, and this is where you actually get the collectible, but you can also do the 99 overall challenge for 100,000 coins, which is pretty nice. Um, and then there also is the NFL Journey 2, 64 solos. They are the um, the moment, so it like puts you in at a specific time down by a certain amount. Um, overall, you can make a good chunk of coins. Um, but it will take probably around eight hours of solid grinding in order to finish it all. So definitely some work to do if you're trying to get those done. You also get a 95 overall Matthew Stafford as the reward for that. So that's pretty nice. Honestly, it's not too bad. You're going to get some packs. You're going to get some coins. You're going to get a player. So if you get it done quick, that player will probably sell for maybe around 40000 maybe a little bit more. Uh, but his price should drop uh, fairly quickly. He'll, he'll probably end up sell them for around 30,000 maybe 30 to 40,000 will be later on but you probably sell them for a lot more when you first finish um, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the team MVP I showed you guys the sets um, I like the CJ Spiller speed he's got 93 speed low carrying low truck so I don't love that about him could be a solid kick return for you but uh, there's his card um, and you guys can just get an idea of the prices they're they're pretty expensive I like this Spencer Ware car Card, um, 91 speed with 93 trucking. That's not too bad. 94 carry, 94 acceleration. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. You guys can see there's a lot of offensive linemen. Dak Prescott currently going for 320,000 coins. 87 speed with 93 throw power. 93 throw accuracy short. 90 medium and 91 deep. Not sure if he's worth 320k. Don't really know the quarterback market too much. Uh, Jordan Matthews, 380k. I like this card. 92 speed. 93 spec catch, 94 catch traffic, 90 jumping, 92 route run, also a 70 run block, so a solid um, outside receiver. Definitely is going to be great in the, in the running game. Um, I like the Kobe Fleener card. I think it's going for a lot, way too much. 88 speed with 83 run block, 90 catch, 92 spec catch, 92 catch in traffic. Um, Phillip Rivers card is pretty decent. Um, and let's show you guys this Leonard Williams card. I think it's I think it's pretty good. Na uh, 93 strength, 90, 96 block shed, 94 power move. Definitely is going to be a solid defensive tackle. Definitely going to help out your team a lot. Good chemistry is on him as well. Definitely a good, solid card there. And the last one I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if I already said that, but last one. Mike Wallace, 95 overall with 95 speed and 95 spec catch. So if you have that Super Bowl one, <clears throat> it might not be worth it to upgrade. But uh, if you don't, if you don't have the Super Bowl cam, 95 speed receiver here for the taking. Definitely a, a solid card. I'm thinking about picking him up. Uh, I might not start him, but I might uh, have him in a backup sub man or something like that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. It's not super long, I don't think. Uh, but hopefully you guys did get to see all the new stuff that was added today. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys next video. Peace out.